caught a great couple of videos and the tag is Fun 25 Comics, I believe Kingdom Comics originated the idea, discussing it with uh, Richard. So I'm going to go around my boxes and um, share the, the books directly from the long boxes and I'll try to keep it brief without going into too much of why I love the covers. Hopefully it can catch on. Uh, also, I'm not going to be tagging anyone, so <laughs> no one has to be holding their breath. I'm strictly, if you want to, if you have a, a fun 25 in mind that you can get to without any inconvenience, so I'll check them out. I, I know a lot of other people will too. Okay. Here so, I can't ever not mention my favorite just 1990s eye candy. Moon Knight 55. I love it. I love it. I love it. And these ZTs are a little out of sorts, but I love this. Where is it? Issue 13. Um, parody of the Albuquerque um, Batgirl cover. So, try to show the whole book. So. In celebration of the new Kevin Smith Clerks 3 motion picture is a Jay and Silent Bob Honey Press 104 by Joe Casada and uh, Jimmy Palmiotz. Can't do a video and not show some Frank Miller. This is Dark Horse Maverick 2000 from the year 2000. I just love some Perla Deja Thoris. Her Deja Thoris, number one, Lucio Perla. I parted with a lot of Spawn, but I did retain my Spawn that was done with Eric Larson. And this one right here, I had Eric's sign. Issue 265, and it's uh, first appearance of King Spider. All right, so I had to show ninjas and robots, and in support of one of my favorite up and coming artists. And I'll go ahead and just show issue four, bought directly off of him. So this is uh, Eric Klaus, Ninjas and Robots, number four. Just a book I'm enthusiastic about quite a bit. So, kind of have to include a cover swipe. Well, you don't, but this is uh, Matt Martin, Snowman. And he, along with like a Trent Canuga, uh, are following Ethan Van Skyver's relaunch of uh, Cyber Frog. Uh, Matt Martin, yeah, doing a little riff on, uh, what is it, Gen 13? All right, so here's Tells from the Crypt, Steve Mannion, issue 11. Really cool. This is Sen Kumanaki's 2020 movie night collector's cover of a Xenoscope book, uh, movie night series, I think. Anyway, this is uh, totally inspired by Comic Crypt of Castle Hills. Tarot, Witch the Black Rose 20. Insatiably hot uh, Jim Ballant cover of uh, the Black Cat Witch, I think her name is. I always love this wizard ash can. Them doing a little bit of window shopping. So I always thought that was really cool. Moving kind of fast, but here's just a book that I always loved. I never thought I'd own again. I just kind of stumbled on it in a lot. Kind of a mid grader, like an eight, something like that. But Wolverine One ongoing series, 1988. Can't find the one I'm looking for. So I will just say that I really like this cover right here by Mike Zek. Captain America Annual Number Eight, signed in adamantium. It's gonna be my. First modern 
Black Canary, Justice League America, 75. Got a level leggy blonde. This one is a Ty Templeton cover. Gotham Adventures number two. This one right here I discovered through Marvin 88. Batman Gotham Knights number 15. Brian Bolin, beautiful. One of the nicest renditions of Poison Ivy you'll ever see. Cover of the year, so I'd be remiss not to share it. Jenny Frizen, Catwoman 43. It's just perfection. Absolutely perfect. Gotham Girls, number 205, Shane Lions. My favorite of the Gotham Girls covers. This is a Will Jack Harley Quinn 13. I just ordered the Will Jack 23. Can't wait to share that. But, um, beautiful Harley cover. And it's, I just always will love my She Hulk 50. I need to get Frank Miller to sign this. Um,. Renee, the editor, and a couple of other people. Obviously, um, John Byrne would be great, but he's hard to get. All my Spideys, and I don't have a lot. This this one, this early, my earliest Spidey, issue 30. And just such a cinematic cover. This one has a sub crease one right here. Just reminds me of this cat I know named Miko Cohen and uh, I had Dino sign it and it's actually a cover by Derek who does um, the boys unfortunately he didn't attend this local con I wanted to, to meet him at here's one that just came in my Kickstarter game has been way off I did pledge to I think I pledged to Zombie Tramp 57 and I pledged to Princess Star Thief 3, but I missed this one. Uh, I think this is more Merat Michaels type stuff, but Pray for the Sinner, P-R-E-Y. And I just like it, it's a Mendoza cover. It kind of reminds me like if he was doing a Lantern Corpse cover for DC. That would be my dream for him to work for one of the big two. Like, just work on a Psylocke book one time, you know? I'm not tagging anyone, but if you feel the urge to do it, that'd be cool. Take care.